Yeah. What up, man? I'm chilling yet again. I got caught in the rain this time, so I said, fuck it. I will make a video, right? Since I can't get out of the car right now. I will make a quick little video and talk about what the fuck Canelo Alvarez is doing. So I'm right now, I'm chilling talking shit about Canelo Alvarez, man. Please get the fuck out of here, man. It's my night. This dude, in his recent interview with Sway, everybody talking about what he said about, you know, Terrence Crawford, you know what I'm saying, how it's easy money, blase, blase. But yeah, he still want 200 million, 150 million dollars to fight this dude. Yeah, got money, money, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like Sway, I like, how, I like how Sway and his cast, I like how all the guys asked the right question when they got Canelo on the panel. You know, they was very respectful of him, which he's supposed to be, no matter how much you like or dislike Canelo Alvarez, he did what he did in the sport. He, he's a spectacular fighter. This is not Canelo hate for all the Canelo, for all the super Canelo fans. This is not Canelo Alvarez hate. Cap. <laughs> <laughs> this is just common sense when it comes to, you know, how he get away with certain shit that we don't allow anybody else to get away with. Even Floyd didn't get away with some of the shit this dude doing. I drink soda, I eat pizza, I hang out with chicks all day. These fighters still can't beat me. This dude, like I don't see Floyd being able to erase a, to erase a loss. If Floyd would have lost, the whole world been been on Floyd's neck about that loss. People to this day still say he lost to Pacquiao. People to this day still say he lost to uh, Castillo in the first fight. People to this day still say that he lost to Mayana in the first fight. So imagine if Floyd actually did lose, how everybody would not let that old, would not let that loss disappear. That's a fact. Canelo got two L's. You lost everything twice. And that shit just got a race. Like he just went back to business as usual. You understand what I'm saying? But that's not what this video is about. I, I digress. I digress. Let's talk about the real shit. The real, the real topic that got me heated right now. This dude literally on air said it was easy money after seeing their last fight because Crawford didn't move. He said he don't move as much. Yeah, I put the clip right here. I don't like to fight guys like like Crawford because he move a lot and the fight is no. That you don't move uh, that much now, so mm -hmm. yeah, is if the money is right, I'm, I mean, why not? He said Crawford don't move that much. He said, yeah, so that's a fight I really. So basically, you saying was you didn't want to fight him. It wasn't because you know you thought he was too small. It wasn't gonna get no praise for it. It was because he thought he was gonna move around a lot. Don't uh, flinch. Shit. Don't move or I hit you with two. Chuck that Ooh. shit up. Chuck it up, little nigga. Oh shit, this nigga got hard. That's number one. Number two, you saying you would take a little bit less. You will take 150. That means your price, you you was looking for 200, 175. How many millions do you want if to fight somebody who you saying is easy money? And his weight classes for a reason. Let's talk about Benavidez. I ain't gonna keep it on Crawford. Let's, let's talk about what he said about Benavidez. Everybody's touching on what you already said about Crawford. Because Crawford just had a fight, I understand. But let's talk about what he said about Benavidez. This dude said he want $200 million to fight Benavidez. I know with the Benavidez question, you get asked this all the time. I almost mm -hmm. hate asking you. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if this, if someone's willing to put up the $250 million, I mean. Would you negotiate down? <laughs> <laughs> no less than 200 No less than 200 Ooh. $200 million to fight Benavidez. You're mandatory. He was his mandatory before he before Benavidez moved up in weight. He was your mandatory. And you not only ducked the mandatory, the WBC gave that man three belts. Every time he fought somebody and called you out, they gave him a belt for that fight. And now you ask for to $200 million because he's going to be quote unquote 185 to 190 pounds on fight night. But you had that same video, but then in that same video, you saying that you don't care that skills pay the bills. That's what I'm saying, the contradictory. Like, he, he literally said two things in that video. I'll put both of them here. He said both things. He said this. I never uh, thinking about the size. Always, they are bigger than me. Mm -hmm. Because I'm short for this uh, weight class, but I, I don't really care about the size because mm -hmm. I'm very smart and I'm strong. So size doesn't matter. Size doesn't matter, yeah. right? Then he said this. We look at Benavidez and you say, first, he's just too big. It's going to be 200 pounds when I fight him. Yeah, look, when he's fi uh, fighting in 168, fight night is like 
190. Wow. 185 right. at least. So would you do like a, a rehydration clause like Tank has done in the past? The, could be, but uh, you know, we made the fight. We'll see. So is it skills pay the bills? Because what Crawford said he's going to beat you, Crawford ain't saying he's going to fight you in a catch weight. He ain't saying he's going to have no re rehydration clause in the video. I mean, in the fight. He's saying that he want to fight you at 168 because skill pay the bills. You saying you'll fight Benavidez and skills pay the bills, but I may consider a catch weight. I, I, he said this, we have to wait to negotiate, which means, yeah. You be all right, nigga. You tough, right? He won $200 million with a rehydration clause. And on top of that, if he lose that fight, who knows what this fan's going to do? I don't know. Hold on. I don't know, though. Because if he lose a, if he lose a Benavidez, he ain't gonna be able to let that one go. Cause Benavidez gonna get that. He gonna have the juice. Yo. You got the juice now, man. Right, that probably would've happened that way. But come on, man. Come on, bro. Like, I got time today. That's what I'm saying. I got stuck in my car. It's uh, stuck in my truck. It's raining. I can't get out the truck right now until the rain slow down a little bit. So I had time to go on this little bit of rant. So I'm gonna make sure that I get it all out. And when I edit this video, I'm gonna have fun with editing this video because this shit to me. It's crazy. Like it's literally gonna be buried. I know it's gonna all that shit he says is gonna be buried before like between now but all the Crawford hate blase blase. This dude's fighting Belanga, man. <laughs> Who the f is that guy? Who the f is that? This dude fighting Belanga, bro. He fighting Belanga and he he talking about Benavidez and Crawford. There are two fights we wanna see him fight, which is Benavidez and Crawford. But he's fighting Belanga. Who the fuck asked for him to fight Belanga? Like he's trying to sell the Belanga fight, but nobody care about that fight. Everybody talking and making videos about him fighting Crawford. Everybody talking and making videos about him fighting fucking Benavidez. Turkey Alashik just said on X that he's no longer willing to make that fight. He no longer want that fight. I want to know if it's, is it because of the quote unquote Crawford performance that made him not want that fight, or is it because? Canelo Alvarez is looking for 200 or 150 million dollars for that fight up front. Like he's looking for that shit, counting probably more and the pay per views. Come on, like you are literally robbing the bank at this point, robbing them literally. Slowing down a little bit out here now, so I might be able to escape in there. Shit, man, like this dude, bruh. I'm thinking, what do you guys think, man? Let me know what you guys think. You guys think that he's, you think Turkey out of sheep is now pulling out of the fight with Terence Crawford? And Canelo Alvarez because of Terry Crawford's performance? Or do you think he's pulling out of that fight because, you know, the demands for the money is, is Canelo Alvarez is just demanding too much fucking money. It's too much money, even for somebody in his position where he has unlimited money. You understand what I'm trying to say? Like even though you worth a, a lot of a lot of money, you still don't want to get taken to the bank. You understand what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck how much money you make. You're not going to be sitting here and just spending and throwing money at some shit that you really not that super pressed about. It's other options that he can make for he can up, make for uh, Crawford. It's other offers he can make. He can make the Ortiz fight. I hope he make the Charlo fight, bro. That's the fight I really want to see. I really, I'd rather see, I've been saying on plenty tapes, and I'm saying on plenty videos that I'd much rather see Crawford fight Charlo than I would him fighting Canelo. I said that plenty times. You understand what I'm saying? That only because the story of the Charlo fight is, is built in. They hate each other. There's it no friendly competition in that fight. They hate each other. Hey, fuck you! Yes! Yes! Fuck you too! I want to see that fight. So, there's other options that, that, that uh, Turkey Alashi can make. So, he's not going to pay you $200 million to fight Terrence Crawford. For Terrence Crawford to move up into your weight class to fight you, bro. Come on, man. He's not about to pay you $200 million. They got to pay Crawford. He got to pay Crawford something close to that because he the one taking the risk. He the one moving up to 200 pounds. Man, come on, bro. Come on, bro. And then Benavidez. This dude is not going to fight Benavidez, dog. He's not going to fight Benavidez. Whenever you go into a fight, ask for $200 fucking million dollars. To fight somebody who was your mentor before and then in the same video you saying how much he weigh in the fight and how big he gets in the fight you are not about to fight that man I man let me know in the comments what you guys think man with that being said my rain is over the rain is slowing down i'm gonna calm my head because i gotta go back in this fucking office and i can't have this motherfucking you know this type of personality or this type of uh what's the word i'm looking for i can't have this energy when i walk into my uh to my place of employment but with that being said man this is your favorite channel, man, CTB. This is Chantel Boxing. Don't left with my shirt, I know. It's goofy. I'm out of here. Peace.
don't care Chinta that too because the people baby. always talk. So no matter yeah. what. 